Hello. Orc, thank you so much for the resub. For real. I can't believe it has it I can't believe it's been a whole month already since hitting affiliate. That's crazy. That's wild. Absolutely flying by. I really appreciate it. Thank you a lot. Um We've got a cat in here. We'll see if she'll settle. I opened the window for her. But Yeah. Feels nice. It's Friday. I've got an extra cup of coffee. Definitely one of those extra coffee days. Let's get this loaded up. I'm ready to dive in. I have a couple of goals that uh, I want to try to accomplish during this stream. I want to explore the quantum moon more, quantum planet. And um, I want to try to not crash. We'll see. I mean, that's it's kind of a tall order, but, you know, we'll see. How are you doing, Orc? No, like, crash my- crash the ship. The GPU is great. You know, it's weird. It's loud. I, like, I think I'm just used to having, like, a really old and therefore kind of quiet, um, uh, GPU. So, like, this one fired up on the last stream and I was, like, I thought something was wrong with my computer. It was so loud. So, like, I don't know. I think I just have to get used to it, but, um... One more hour at work. Yeah, I was lucky that I was able to get off a little early today. This said I had something new to read. Here it is. Oh, yeah, because this is where we left off with the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on top of the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow uh, were reunited, it became their ultimate goal to find and visit the quantum moon. Okay, so we know that that's true, that we have to get the shrine to the top of the moon. I haven't yet worked out how to do that. I have a couple of theories. I have a few theories. We're gonna see. I know my shrine wanders about the quantum moon. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging is inscribed next to a mural on the on the tower. You recall the rule of quantum entanglement. It is inscribed next to a mural of a quantum shard in a cave. Recall the rule of the sixth location. It is inscribed next to a mural of a tower hanging above a black hole. So we found all these rules. So we should, theoretically, be able to get to the sixth location. Because the quantum imaging, I believe that was the on Giant's Deep, that was that tower, and then the Quantum Entanglement is the, uh, the cave where we transport with the quantum rock, and then the sixth location was what we read here. We're going to try to figure it out. We're going to give it our best shot. Hopefully the moon will just be conveniently located. That is the hope. It may just kind of be a little bit of, uh, 
looking around until the moon moves somewhere that is easy to spot. There it is. Okay. Oh, weird. Is my, uh... Oh, okay. I thought that my, uh... I thought that my, uh, um, resolution on my camera was off. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, alright. We did not fulfill the first goal of this stream to not crash. So, um, that was just the, uh, the trial run, you know? And now we won't crash. From here on, we will be more careful from here on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, so, to walk through my thinking a little bit. Oh, hi there. Don't, don't move. Stay there. I've definitely been to this guy before. Yeah, poor guy. So, that is the ship that's always on the south pole. This is always south. So we want it to be on the north pole. Um, so what I noticed, hey, Cronarch. What's the plan tonight? I want to figure out the quantum moon. That is my goal. I don't know if we're going to do it, but that is my goal. Um, so, because I'm pretty sure I have all the puzzle pieces I need at this point. Like, I, I can't think of anything that I'm really missing. So what I'm trying to figure out now, what I'm kind of thinking out loud, is that there are a bunch of different locations in here, right? And we need this to be on the North Pole, and right now it's on the South Pole. Or, I don't know, it was, but the ship moved, so... Who knows? Uh, I'm thinking that maybe we have to be on one of these specifically to get this placed onto the, uh, the North Pole. I don't know, I think I just kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit. Let's close the door. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> I love when you can take a selfie. I don't think I've been to like this spawn before. Um. But yeah, maybe if I have it on a specific spot, I can get the tower to be on the North Pole. I'm not sure. I don't even see anything around here to really walk around. But how are you doing, Cronarch? Just got home from work? Nice. Yeah, I got off work a little early today, which was a very nice treat. This is so interesting that this is like in a different spot. Or like the geography is different based on what planet is nearby is are these all quantum 
thorns that only spawn in when the moon is nearby. It, like, kind of just, like, picks up stuff from wherever the moon is close to. Odin is raiding! Oh my gosh! Odin, hello! Thank you so much for the raid! How was the rest of your stream? Um, I don't know if I have a mod in chat. Let me give you a quick shout out. Oh, Loof. Perfect. Thank you, Loof. You beat me to it. It was good. I hope you're enjoying the game. I know that that game, like, I think you're playing on a, a keyboard too. I had a lot of trouble with the controls for that one when I was, when I first picked it up. It is, it's, it's a platformer that's, you know, it's tricky. You're lurking in the kitchen? All good. All good, Loof. Sense a disturbance in the forest, so you came back. It's a platformer is correct. Yeah, it, like, it doesn't seem like it would be um like because it's just like it's so cute it looks like it's just like an, a little artsy indie game that's deceptively so difficult um Allie, thank you so much for the resub i still i still can't believe it's been a full month since i hit affiliate that is wild to me thank you so much for the resub i really appreciate it you have to go because you don't want spoilers. Uh, yeah, so if anyone hasn't played this game, uh, Outer Wilds, and you are curious about it, um, I, as much as I would love to have you here, I recommend um, com coming back another time for, for a different game because um, this game is absolutely best played blind. You don't want to know anything about it. Um, so just just as a FYI. Uh, this game is amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and thank you so much for the follow, Garden of Indie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, don't even read the description on stream if you like space and puzzles and, like, that feeling of wonder. This is the game for you. Oh, and thank you for the congratulations on Affiliate. I, I appreciate it. I, like, streaming has been such a fantastic outlet for me during this quarantine madness. Um, oh, look at the jellyfish. Hey, bud. How you doing? All right. I have some ideas about this area, so I'm gonna... Yeah. Let's see what we can find by just kind of roaming around. Cronart just subscribed at tier one. Thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. All right, we found the shuttle. Thank God it's nearly over quarantine. Also, hello, Imbalis. How are you doing? Uh, da da da. All right, all right. I'm so distracted. I'm so distracted right now. It's it's so nice having everybody in chat. Okay, so we're gonna try to get to the opposite side of this planet. Relaxing on Friday. Me too. Got off work early tonight and trying to. We're rolling with it. We're just. I was like, let's get an early stream in. So. This. Seems like halfway. Maybe. I like this spawn. I like this. All right. I hope this works. I hope this works. I guess I should have left that there. Crap. That might have fucked me up. I think I had the right idea and the wrong execution. Also, I should introduce myself. So... 
uh, raiders if you're hanging out. My name is Ray, uh, Ray Elise, Rachel, whatever. Um, I am a variety streamer. I'm a relatively new streamer. I've been streaming for about two or three months now. Um, and I play games like Outer Wilds, Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm going to be playing Subnautica, um, uh, uh, the new one. For, for Subnautica Below Zero. There it is. Uh, next month. Uh, I'm looking forward to The New Life is Strange. It's a little, little bit about me. I've got a couple of cats. Sometimes they make a guest appearance. Come on. Come on. For anyone trying to figure out what I'm doing, I'm trying to get this to go here. That is the goal. There it is. Please, work. I doubt it did. Yeah, nope. Still blocked. We're trying to get through this barrier here. Uh, so I actually kind of want to go back to the Dark Bramble location. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I love this mute button. I've got this uh, new mute button on my mic, and it is so convenient. Don't have to blow out anybody's ears with uh, sneezing. But also, I checked my VOD. Okay, here we are. We are back. I checked my VOD from uh, um, the, my last stream. And when I was holding up Harvey, you couldn't hear his meows at all. Alright. So. Let's do this. Got a picture of it. We're actually gonna go right past the shuttle. I'm gonna use up all my fuel trying to do this. This feels to me like a halfway point. Come on. Now we're just trying to get the uh, the ship to spawn. There we go. Okay. But then I can't go in it, so I guess I have to let this go. We're gonna have to do this again. This is gonna be a lot of trial and error, you guys. I'm still working this out in my brain, but at least I know where to go. I know that the ship has, like, a north and south, too, but I've definitely lost my ship at this point. I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it. I swear this changed, too. Everything's changing. <laughs> Can't keep it straight. Man, now I'm thinking I should really go back to my ship and use the north and south pole that's marked on the, on the ship. That might be easier. This seems close enough. Alright, so I'm not going to drop the uh, shuttle this time. I'm going to let the shuttle stay where it is. And we're going to try this again. It may or may not work. Although it might not be able to change location as long as... Uh, Yeah, as long as I have this photo, I don't think I'll be able to change location. So many puzzle pieces. Book. Alright. I'm going back to my ship. I'm... I'm going back to my ship. I'm gonna have some coffee. Oh, we got a cat back here. She hanging out. A UI element that might be helpful. Um, UI element. Yeah, that's fine. If it's just something that I just haven't noticed that's like super apparent in the uh, in the UI, 
Go for it, Cronark. Because I swear to God, if there's like... If I get to a planet... I guess I can't pull it up now. And there's like a north-south marker on my... Little radar. Does the pointing out UI elements count later as well? As in, would it be acceptable later? Uh, let's go with case by case. That's exactly it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, there must be something here that I'm just not seeing. Uh, oh, is it... I can't even... Is it... Where'd it go? This, uh... In the bottom... There we go. This corner. There's like a little roundy thing. Yeah, the ball. All right. <laughs> I just didn't notice it. Okay. That may help. Let's try again. <laughs> I'm, like, not the most observant with stuff like that sometimes. Oh, it's not there now. It'll pop up. Okay. All right. Hopefully the, uh... Quantum Moon won't make us work too hard for it to pop up this time. It wasn't that hard last time, but... Is that it? I think that's it. It's kind of far. That's fine. Hey, Mike. How's it going? All right. I like to get a picture that's, like, kind of close. Also, I'm not going to crash this time. I swear to God. God damn it! What? I was going so slowly! This didn't... This didn't go how I expected it to go. License revoked. I think it's because of the, uh, the planet we're at. Yeah, it's, like, really just shallow. Alright. Landing gear damaged. It's fine. It's fine. One of these days, I'm gonna have a whole stream that is, uh... No crashes. I still work. You know, landing gear... I don't feel like it's as important as, uh... As it, as it potentially must be. Alright, where the heck is our tower? Come on. Just need the tower. Alright, cool. So, I want to get off this planet immediately. Because there's no room to work here. Landing gear, crumple zone, exactly. That's exactly right. I'm not even gonna turn the, the light on to start. There's that ball, yeah, yes. I don't know why I never made that connection that like, that's a useful tool when you're looking for the north and south pole of a planet. The red one's north, thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. So... So many other things to look for that it can be hard. Yeah. I think that's exactly it. Like, you're, you're so focused on everything else. Um... So I want to get to, to, like, Dark Bramble playing a new game. Yeah. 
There was like there was some other game that I can't totally recall the uh I forget what this one looks like. I can't, re I can't recall which one it was, but it was like there was some mechanic. Oh, it was Ori. It was Ori in the Blind Forest. Um and uh I guess let's try this one. So I guess not try this one. Cuz I can't go north. Come back. Thank you. Um, Ori in the Blind Forest. I didn't realize that, like, you had to hold shift to use one of the mechanics. And so, like, I was trying to do a puzzle or, like, part of the platforming without that mechanic. And it was so incredibly difficult. I just, like, couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated. Let's let it get completely dark. I think I'm going too quickly. I am over eager. Giant steep. Was this one easy to navigate? Yeah, this one is. All right. I mean, maybe not. Maybe I will go to one of the other ones. I like I don't want to get thrown out into space to be honest. If that's where I have to go. This game is crazy, you guys. Okay. This is the spot. We will now do this until it spawns there. That was close, but not it. Nope. Maybe I'm too close. Let's back up a little bit. Hey, Mark. We're figuring out the quantum moon. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Yes! 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 Oh, yeah? I watched uh, Fargo last night for the very first time, and so it's just, like, in my head. Just, oh, yeah? Okay. We did it. We're at the North Pole. Uh, the movie. The, like, 1996 movie. That was nice of it to take me straight here. The door is not blocked! The door is not blocked! <laughs> ah! So exciting! <laughs> what? We're here. We're at the sixth location. Now what? I'm just gonna follow this path for a minute. And we'll see what happens when we get to the South Pole. Um... Okay. So I still kind of think that the, uh... Is that a guy? There's a, there's a guy here! Who are you?
quantum broom. It does look like a broom. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like... Oh, cool. Solanum. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan b believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. Solanum, Anomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth. We now call it home. What happens if I swap out this one? Does he say something else about himself? The Explain Stone. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be closer to the eye while the eye is obscured from our sight. We can see the quantum moon's reflection in the eye, in uh, reflection of the eye in the sky above us. I guess let's read the other half of this one. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits microscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. This is wild. This is crazy. Um... Let's go back to the identify stone. <laughs> Wait, that's actually his name, isn't it? Oh, it's close. It's close. You guys and your puns. <laughs> this is the quantum moon where we are both standing. Despite also orbiting uh, other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Uh, okay. Explain! Explain! Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that eye, that the eye is its primary location. Hey, Nob. Welcome in. We're, this is crazy. This game is insane. I'm gonna be thinking about this for days. Given the quantum moon, uh, given the, given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics, uh, the moon, it, exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. Days is an understatement. Listen, like, this game is one of my, like, favorite games now. I understand why everybody says that. Like, easily top ten, possibly top five games of all time. I fully understand why uh, everybody loves it. Also, Pyro, hello. I don't know if I said hi earlier. I'm, like, so caught up in what's going on that I'm, like, glancing at chat. Um, 
only downside is lack of replayability. I guess that's a downside. I like, I think that there is something really special about something that can only be truly enjoyed once. I think that that's, that kind of like actually amplifies how important that game is. Most story games are as such, at least deeply story-based games. Somewhat. You can still enjoy a good story, whereas here, almost all of the joy of this game is in discovery, and once you know what's coming, it's kind of hard to go back. That's why you can watch someone else play it and enjoy vicariously. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it is likely that any characteristics of the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself, the quantum moon, and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is also likely quantum. In fact, the moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that land on other planets eventually become quantum too. If you ever get amnesia, I hope to remember... Uh, hope you remember to play this game again. Mark, if you ever get Amnesia, I'll tell you which games to play. I'm going to start with Gothic 2. Say that that was one of your favorite gaming experiences ever. Um, no, I'm just kidding, because then you'd never trust me. <laughs> you would never trust me again. <laughs> yeah, this is getting a DLC soon. Um, we don't really know anything about it, but uh, that's cool. Uh, have I seen the new Amnesia game? I have seen it. I have I've watched like the first two hours or so someone play it. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it, but I haven't seen enough of it to really give an opinion. I liked the first one. I like I loved Soma. I thought Soma was great. I've like watched someone play it, but I haven't played it myself. I'm gonna pause for a moment. Um, echoes of the eye. You're so ready. Uh, you want to wipe all memories of this. Undertale, Skyrim, Subnautica, uh, Fallout 4? Fallout 4? Uh, and just have a text doc on your doc desktop saying, play these five games. Yeah, I could, I can understand that. There was, um, uh, a YouTuber who got amnesia from, like, an accident. Um, and they forgot, like, all of the media that they liked and all the games that they liked. And I thought uh, a lot of people had that, like, first reaction of, like, oh, they're going to love all of the things that they love. And, like, they'll get to experience them all for the first time. But because that person forgot pretty much everything from high school and earlier, or, like, uh, high school and later, like, they'd forgotten ages maybe, like, 13 and onward, um... They hadn't built up the appreciation for the things that they cared about later in life. So when they went back and, like, watched a couple of TV shows that they loved previously, they were like, eh, it was, it was okay. Um, and I thought that was really interesting, too. It's like you can't just dive in straight to the things that you previously loved. You kind of have to build yourself up. You have to rebuild your personality in a, in a sense. It's crazy. It's crazy. I couldn't believe it when I was... Uh, learning about it. Uh, I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. That's cool. Explain me. Explain me. <laughs> Called us four eyes, what a bully! That's right, Mark. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about it and to find the eye of the universe. I'm, sh uh, I'm unsure how you've arrived here, however, perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan did. A lot of games are linked with relationships and memories for you, and that's why you love them. <laughs> he said he liked them, though. Okay. Was that everything? Is 
That can't be everything, is it? That mask is really cool. I wonder if anyone's done a cosplay of this guy. That would be a sick cosplay. You want one for your wall? That- no kidding, that would be a dope wall decoration. Um, I'm like half expecting any time I move for him to be gone. I feel like there must be more here. I don't know, like... I've definitely read all of these, but now what? Found a Nomai cosplay? Definitely, uh... Throw it in the Discord if you can without a spoiler... If you can, like, throw a spoiler tag on it, something like that. I know there's a couple people in the Discord that are specifically avoiding spoilers for this game, but I would love to see it. I should just make, like, an Outer Wilds, or, like, a, a, a current game spoilers um, sub-channel, something like that, so that we can talk about it. Especially once I'm done with this game, because I'm going to have a lot to say about this game once I'm done with it. Um... I am kind of curious what happens if I just, like, fly up there. Is there anything else, like, around here? Good idea. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll pitch it to, to the other, other folk and see if they're into that. Um. Also, I guess this wasn't relative- this actually wasn't all that hard to get here. Oh, it did- I did! I did get sucked up into the... Whoa. Uh... Yeah, this was not what I expected, but here we are. Is that- was- is that him? Was that him that was dead? Or is this just like another guy? I don't know if we know the- the alien's gender. I guess they is a safe one. He's in, a, like, a different position every time. Alright. That was wild. No, I have genders. Solinum is female. That's cool. What the hell? Like... That was really cool. Like, that was awesome. I don't know what to do with that information. Also, my ship was definitely on this island. Uh, or on this, uh, version of the Quantum Moon. But I think it's... gone. Ship? Hello? Hello, ship? Now I just want to find the, uh, there may still be more. I expect that. I expect that there may be. I mean, I guess... I'm super proud of this Nomai for winning best picture with Nomai Land. <laughs> Um, we're not at the North Pole. 
please take me somewhere else. This one's fine. I think. Maybe. Probably. Uh, this way. We're gonna go back to that sixth location again. I do want to take another look around. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Please, no, Matt. <laughs> uh, uh, that's funny. Mark's gonna get a three second timeout if he's not careful. Although Dave's not here, so you're probably safe. You do have sword. this. Oh, just like some geysers. Yay! Oh yeah, is that our our wonderful music of time up? That's alright. We can come back. We're probably out of time on this one. Ooh, I wonder what happens when the universe explodes and we're on this planet. Ooh, that's an interesting question. We're gonna find out what happens. A quantum boom. We're gonna have a friend this time. Sir, I don't know if you've noticed, but the universe keeps exploding. Can you tell me about that? Quantum vampires. That was wild. All right, let's go read our logs. <laughs> what a, uh, we got a lot done in that 20 minutes. So it was very productive, very productive 20 minutes. I met a living Nomai named Sal um, Salanum. Salanum. I want to make sure I like get that right. At the South Pole. Uh, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all uh, macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Salanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. 
We gotta, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. I wonder if we take a picture of the moon before we jump into uh, that cloud. Moon? Where, Moon? Where is Guppy? We'll just look around until it shows up. Schrodinger's moon. Psst, 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 psst. Moon. Psst, 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 psst. Come here, quantum moon. Come here. it behind giant steep maybe that was it oh there it is coming for you you guys might be able to tell that i've had a lot of coffee today no don't fall don't don't crash ah crap oh that's fine i definitely lost the moon though that sucks whatever hydrate Hold on, I'll get some actual water. I've I've got some on the on my water bottle here. Let me just find the stupid moon again. Why did I do that? I get so disoriented in this game. Okay. Hydrate. Got some water. <sighs> Too much water. Need H2O. Yeah. Thought you were saying hi to a new viewer named Drate. <laughs> it's funny how I'll believe, like, any Twitch name now. Um. There you are. Like, uh. Someone could, like, reference somebody as a name, and it could be, like, a total joke, and I would, like, believe it just because Twitch names can be so weird. I know that's not what you meant, but that's what I thought of. Abort autopilot. Slow down. Slow down, 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 slow down. Whoo! All right. Man, the poor guy. Remember that thing Joe said the other day? I'm like, oh yeah, Joe. Is that a viewer? Thank you, Allie. Joe Mama. Yep. Uh, okay. So, let's get back to Dark Bramble or something. One that's easy to get a lot of distance in. I actually don't know what the twins' location looks like. Emergency scout recall activated. 
I guess it missed the moon and landed somewhere else. Okay. Uh, this way. I guess we do have to go in here to go to Brittle Hollow to get to the last bit of the journey. Fell into the sun or hollow lantern? Yeah, probably. It just, like, kept going and then was gone forever. What cool game design. I can't get over it. Oh, something else really cool. Um, uh, I, I thought this was really cool. So I, I upload my uh, my VODs of games that I play, like, the whole thing up onto YouTube. Um, and I just started doing that. Um, and for, like, a month or so, I, like, didn't have any followers. I didn't have any, any like, YouTube subscribers or whatever. Um... Uh, and so, like, I was putting in a lot of effort to, like, download my VODs and edit them and then upload them. And the other day I got, like, my first one or two followers and then someone, like, commented, like, a nice note on one of my videos. And I just, like, I was like, it's all worth it now, I'll upload them just for you. <laughs> I don't know, it felt really nice. Like, I'm sure all, all you guys, like, if you do watch VODs, you watch them on Twitch because, like, that's the platform that you use. So, like, YouTube is just, like, gonna always be, like, different people and stuff, but it, I don't know, it was, it was really nice. We're back. Alright, so I kind of want to test my other idea now, which is gonna be, like, a little bit inconvenient, I suppose, because, uh, if it doesn't work out, I'm just gonna be going back to uh, the drawing board in terms of, like, getting here again. Hi, Keon. <laughs> what is the stream? It's full of nice people. Oh, that's, that's nice of you to say. I'm Ray. I mean, you know me. I've seen you around, but, um, yeah, I, I stream, I do variety games. Right now we're playing, uh, Smatter Wilds. Yeah, no, I know you're joking. I've seen you around. I still like to do a little introduction, you know? He's one of your mods? Oh, I didn't realize he was one of your mods. Like, I knew he was from your channel. Uh, Alright. We're trying this. What do you mean it didn't work? You're following? Yeah, I thought you were. Uh, stream a bit too late for you when you work. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing you like in chat very much. That didn't work how I wanted it to. They wish they were no tie instead of no my mark. I can't. Uh. Oh well, I just closed the I just closed the picture. Whoops. Sorry, man. Uh, Mike, you're gonna lurk, run errands. Um, hopefully, uh, back to set up for stream. Yeah, you said you were gonna play Half Life Alex later. I really want to check that out. I don't have a VR rig, so... Let's see how far we can get on this planet. This... I keep re referring to them as different planets, but it's just different locations. Ugh. 
You guys, I'm bad at Twitch names. Please don't, please don't take it personally. I'm like one of those really good with uh, faces people. And so, of course, I get into Twitch streaming because... You know what? I it's you know what this is kind of funny. This is definitely a tangent uh, of that of that earlier conversation. But um, I'm trying to get the thing to spawn. Um, streaming has seriously been pushing me out of my comfort zone in like every way imaginable. Um. Like, one of my biggest insecurities is reading aloud. Um, I've definitely said that on stream before. Uh, hey, Giant Sequina. The Quantum Moon is treating us quite well. We got to the sixth location. Right now, I'm just trying to, like, experiment a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I've, like, definitely mentioned on stream before that I... Here we go. Uh, have dyslexia, and so reading aloud is uh, always been a pain point for me. And playing games like this... It forces me to to do that. Um, also, like getting familiar with names and remembering names. Um, so I don't know. It's it's really cool because I've been able to watch myself improve on things that I have insecurities about. I don't know. I'm kind of like I'm proud of myself for doing it, doing the things. Oh, I don't- I actually don't need to do that. I'm doing fine, thank you. I appreciate that. Ooh, down, 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 down. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Alright. So close. There we go. Nope. That's... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love the teleporting. It is so funny every time. Uh. Getting out of comfort zones is such a good thing. It really is. Uh, it's something I, I don't think that people see the value in until they, until they just do it. Until you, you take that step. Almost. Um. Oh, Allie, thank you. I didn't see what that was. Thank you. I added, like, a, um, uh, you had that bot in your stream yesterday. Uh, I added, like, a, a two or five second timer or something, so there's a bit of a delay for what I see compared to what you guys see. Um, just so that if I have a mod in, in chat, they can catch spoilers or something if someone, like, just jumps in with a spoiler right off the bat. You returned with heaps of yum? What'd you, what'd you make, Loof? Alright, we're back. Oops, didn't didn't mean to close the door, but we did. Beef stroganoff? Oh my god. Yum. I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. I was, like, really excited that I get to stream and then make dinner afterwards for a change. Usually I do it the other way around, and then I just, like, have to eat really fast. Um. Hello, sir. Or ma'am. They, them. Don't know what to make? Make toast. Toast is delicious. I 
I have omelets for lunch often. Um, Imbalus. Imbalus. I love breakfast food. It is my absolute favorite. Like, if I'm ever going out for food, it's like, let's get brunch. So I want some French toast. Um... So nice of him. I feel like there must be some more places to like go here. I might be wrong. Down, 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 down. It definitely seems like I'm just a guided in this direction and no other direction. a sword. <laughs> uh, your idol food was always mac and cheese. Oh, man. I miss some good mac and cheese. You have a stupid big bowl of cereal after work every day? You know, uh, KY does, too. Um, toast never fails like cereal. Yeah. Let's read this again. Ah, oh, so stiff. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. I know I won't be able to see my scout if I leave. At least I don't think I will. Up we go. Is my ship here? Because that's the real question, is like... I still don't totally understand how I can take a picture of the moon and the moon moves. Like, I, I, I don't totally get how I can see, uh, you know what, this will get us off the planet. Let's use this. I'm almost out of fuel, too. Oh, what? No, it got rid of my picture! Crap.
Eye weirdness? Yeah. I am a bit surprised that I didn't have to work harder than just using this uh, globe to get to the North Pole. I thought this would be harder. How did I get in here? How do I get out? Oh, there we go. Ship! Where am I? I'm on Brittle Hollow. Thirty four kilometers. Let's talk to this guy. Sir, I request the use of your oxygen and Man, and I don't have any scout information. And there's the song. I'm in a hurry. I talk to a living Nomai! Ah, that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I'm very excited for you, though. Please stop yelling. <laughs> what? On the quantum moon, you said? Uh, there's a sort of living Nomai on the quantum moon? Why didn't you say so? Oh, wow. Uh, that's the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Wilds Ventures. I can't believe you talked to an actual Nomai. Great. Uh, so, uh, uh, so I just have to go back into space, fly the quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. That's probably doable. Is that... that... that's it? Oh, wow, wow, so that's how the Nomai died? Yeah, we read this one already. I mean, I guess he wouldn't know anything. Um, your friend told you uh, she was scared, very afraid of snails, and could, uh, you couldn't believe it. We were camping and it started raining. Huge snails came out of all the bushes and she was running around screaming because they were everywhere. That was so hilarious. Also at night she couldn't sleep because she saw them crawl on the sides of the tent not noticing I was the one placing them there. I would be very upset with you if that was me and I had a snail phobia. You stepped on a snail once and cried. <laughs> oh no. What's the conversion between a kilometer and an outer mile? Aloof, I'm watching you. She turned snail and ran. I'm so glad that we didn't go with the bad pun club for our Discord. That would have been intolerable. <laughs> Just encourage this. All right. <laughs> I do love everyone's reactions to everybody's puns, though. It is quite humorous. Uh, all right. Let's go to Giant's Deep and we'll talk to... What's his name over there? Giant Steep, where are you be? I've also gotten to the point of like lazy where I should just go into the I should just go into here. This is just gonna be so much faster. Alright, Giant Steep. There it is. I feel like you're taking my dislike of onions personally. I I mean I think onions are okay to cook with. But 
I don't really like onion rings. You'll never like them, never. Hey, you do you. Alright, we made it. It's so nice to be on an island where things won't just, like, spawn and then despawn. Yeah. No crashing. <laughs> Onion backwards is basically no and no. Hey, time pal. Nice weather we're having, huh? Wait, have I used that one before? I found something! Wait, what? I can't- I can't tell him anything about what else is going on? Uh, you know where we haven't gone yet? We haven't gone back to Dark Bramble since we got to the center of Giant's Deep. So maybe we'll go back to Dark Bramble and talk to Felspar? I think that's Felspar. Mark, I'm ignoring your puns now. I'm reading them. I might... I might... make a little... Huh. But I'm not reading them. Out loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. You can make all the puns you want. They're just, uh, they're quite, they're quite silly and there's so many of them. Uh, I think that puns are, are clever and most of the time funny. I'm not very good at coming up with them, so it's hard for me to, to, like, rebuttal a pun with another pun. If we're talking about bears, I can come up with some good bear puns, and that's about it. I don't know. I haven't applied that skill to any other type of pun. <laughs> don't tell him that, please. <laughs> all- no, all the puns are terrible. What am I- I'm gonna say, no, pun, puns are bad. All puns are bad. Definitely. Also, um, to be sure, bears naturally demand to be punned about. Uh, Someone said somewhere, maybe Loof, I don't know if it was on your stream? I don't entirely remember. Um, but someone talked about having a, uh, headlights off. Uh, having a, like, a sub goal or, like, a donation goal to, like, play a type of game, like a horror game. And I'm starting to really like that idea. I remember we were talking about garlic. Like, that was an idea uh, that was, like, presented to garlic, and I was like, ooh, I like that too. I think it was because garlic doesn't play horror games at all. Something like that. And I don't really either. Like, I've I played the first half of Amnesia, I've played the first 20 minutes of Soma, and I've played maybe an hour of Outlast, and it's usually just like, oh, I'll play this for a little bit with some friends for, like, a Halloween thing. Garlic said they would uh, never play a horror game, and we asked how many channel points it would take. Got it. Okay. I knew it was something like that, but I didn't remember where it was. Um, horror games can be exhausting. Yeah, for sure. 
it would definitely be something where I would do it like once a week and then do a different game in between. Um, I've started to add like higher, I guess it's this one in the middle, huh? Um, I've started to add higher redemption channel points and, uh, one of my, I think it's like 50k, something like that, I'll do like a baking stream again, and for another 50k, I'll do a makeup art stream, um, for, for like a costume type piece and do like a full face of something crazy. But horror games would be fun too. It would definitely have to be like a sub goal or something though, not just like channel points. <laughs> Uh, amnesia, Dark Descent horrified you, um, as in legit the worst scare you've ever had in a video game. How many subs right now? That's a good question. I just have OBS up. Oh, Scout. There it is. Uh, in including gift subs, I think it's like 20. Something like that. But some of that is like from the birthday stream and stuff, so... I, I know that's gonna balance out a little bit. Twenty-five streams to horror stream. Mm, I'd probably put it higher. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I really don't want to play a horror game. <laughs> What are y'all's go-to horror games um, that didn't mean to be? The, um... Oh, Nine, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I, like, I'm still just, like, blown away that it's been a whole month. Um, uh, Subnautica. Yeah, I was just thinking Subnautica, Mark. Um, Subnautica had some spooky moments in it. What else? Um, other games that were horror-esque, uh, Inside, I thought was pretty spooky, um, but it wasn't, like, jump scare, um, and it's also, like, advertised as being a spooky game. Tomb Raider. Interesting. There's definitely some others on my list that I was like, ooh, that was a spooky game. Uh... Half-Life? Hey, I'm back. I got to the center of the planet, no thanks to you. Half-Life Half -life Alex. I found something. I went to the core of Giant's Deep. So you figured out the good old tornado trick, did ya? Good work. I found that bit out by accident, but let's keep that between you and me, hey? Hornfells would have uh, been my very handsome... Hornfells would have had my very handsome head if they knew I had been riding these cyclones again. The ship is fragile, it can break. You can't subject it to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was I? And the jellyfish, you figured the, those out? Hatchling, I tell you what, you've done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure, but you might just become a pilot yet. Uh, 
Um, guess that's it. Yeah, no, I noticed that nod. But how would he know? He wouldn't know. Silent Hill. Oh, you know what? Um, uh, 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 The Last of Us. The Last of Us had some really scary moments in it. Absolutely. Hmm. Alright, so I wanna... leave. I don't even really care if I get eaten. Um, here we go. Yeah, especially The Last of Us 2. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just... Where am I? I'm so lost. so cute just like curled up over here I'm gonna figure out she's like right in the worst spot <gasps> snoozing speaking of spooky games yeah i mean this one definitely gave me like several jump scares you totally put blue leds in the mask hell yeah uh, stream buffering a tad, or just you? I'm not dropping frames. I, you know, I did drop a couple of frames, but not yet. Let me know if something gets bad, though. My internet is just, like, not the best. Okay. No, my tattoos. Ooh, that's cool. So what it... Lunar Ruins. On Adel Rock. The launch module's destroyed. I haven't quite figured out what I've missed here yet. The vessel. Old settlement. Maybe we'll go back here? I, like, am starting to wonder what my goal should be. Is it to get to Ash Twin? Um, because the quantum moon, getting to the sixth location, this felt like, I thought that this was going to be, like, a point of no return point in the game. I thought that, like, once I get here, I'm gonna have answers that will resolve the rest of the game, and that was not entirely true. I got more pieces, so... My assumption is that I need to stop the universe from, like, exploding in this 22-minute interval. Um, to do that, I need to get to Ash Twin Project. Um, maybe we have to get to the Eye of the Universe, but I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt that we have to go there. Um, but the, the vessel might be helpful for that. Um, so... To get here, 
I'm trying to figure out which bits of information I am missing. Um, I suppose we'll start here. Uh, before we head off, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. So I will be right back. I'm back. Oh, Cronarch, I know you must be itching. <laughs> Especially when I just like throw a bunch of like thought processes, you know, out at you where I'm like, oh, this is all the. I'll say, hi, back. I'm dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Ellie. Oh, here, come here. Come here, kitty cat. Oh. Hi. Let me... Oh. There we go. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, I have to take my headphones off for this. You're tangled, baby. There we go. Oh, are you just gonna sit? Oh, you can't see. Oh, I've got a cat. She does this like once a week. She'll like hop up, she'll rub her face all over my face, and then snuggle in for a couple of minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, wait. Ready? No, do, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. No. Yes, yes. Almost. She'll do that leg kick like a dog. It's very cute. <laughs> you have to, like, get just the right... Oh, no. Too much. It's too much. It is overwhelming. No, not on the desk. You can hang out here. You hang out here or go down. But I do want to get back to the game. Okay. All right. Okay. Sometimes she'll hang out for like 20 minutes or so. But I think there's a little too much going on. Um... Um, you're making really dumb noises right now. She's really cute when she wants to be. Like, my favorite is when she just hops up and just rubs all over. She is so cute. 
Uh, gray eyes are two colors. They're definitely yellow. Definitely yellow. Um, it, but the sunlight is kind of weird, and this camera is old as hell, so it's not the best camera. Um, oh, hey, Odin. Welcome back. You just got home from your walk and walked by your PC to see this. <laughs> yeah, she's the cutest little cat. I, I adore her. She's, like, super mean sometimes, though. Like, if you're walking uh, behind her, it bothers her. She does not like it. Um, she will, like, turn around and, like, swat at you and, and get mad. Um, oh, yeah, no, I forgive her every time. She is so cuddly. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Like, once a week. <laughs> uh, scritching tenderizes the meat. But also, Odin, thank you for lurking, but definitely don't feel obligated to hang around if you're trying to avoid spoilers and stuff. Um, she's like, six feet, please. Yeah, that is exactly her attitude. I don't know where she went. She was here a moment ago. Oh, there you are. Right next to me. Do you want to come back up? She does a thing next to my chair where if she wants to come up, she'll just reach both of her arms up and I just like pick her up like a like a like a child. Did you want to come back up? Nope. She said nope. And <laughs> I go back on lurk. All good. I do I do uh, appreciate the lurk. Absolutely. Um Keon scratches the yeah, tenderizes the meat. Keon with his dark, dark jokes. I I have made so many jokes about like making cat stew and and all of that. Or like uh Where did I say we're going? Oh, we're going back to Brittle Hollow. Ah. Quantum Moon. It's never where you need it to be. Um, but the guppy, the guppy video, um, if any of you are Isaac fans, uh, Binding of Isaac fans, uh, and haven't seen the guppy video, look it up on, uh, on YouTube. It's, uh, like, what's it called? Uh, how much can one cat take is the name of the video and it has edmund the the creator of binding of isaac and his wife um just absolutely offending their cat guppy and just like being so mean to him but also it's a cat like um I think this will work. I know it's like on the other side of the planet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. Um, but they just like, they're talking to their cat and they're like, we're gonna put you in a bag and bang you on things. And I say stuff like that to Ellie like all the time. I'm like, you idiot. You dummy. It's such an old video. Yeah, it's so old, but it's a classic, and I love it. Let's refill our fuel, even though we've barely used any. Hi, Beck. Bye, Beck. Here. And then oh we don't want to go to we want to go to the old settlement. We'll go this way. We'll see if this works. I should have paid more attention about how I was gonna get to the old settlement. Because I'm pretty sure you can just walk into it from the other side of the planet, but you know what whatever. You stinky dummy poo poo face. Yeah, that's how I talk to my cats. Um, Harvey is so loud uh, that I I give him a very la uh, hard time whenever he's complaining about anything. I'm just like, oh, is the world ending? You poor thing. Ugh. I'm 
I'm getting way too bold with my movement in this place. There it is. Can I get there from here? That is the question. Um, let's go for it. Nope, nope. But we might go all the way around. Physics! Physics! We're getting closer. Let's try it again. Let's try going around to the left this time so we don't hit the hanging city. This might actually work. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, crap. I'm tempted to try that again just because it wasn't, like, actually not working. Oh, well, I guess this... The place that I'm trying to get to is falling, so uh, I'm just, I'm just, gonna, we're just gonna try this again. We're just gonna come back. We're just gonna do this again. I don't, I, I hate trying to navigate around once I've fallen through the black hole. Like I know that there's a way to get back by going to that shuttle and then teleporting them. Just, just no. stuff that had already, already fallen. We're, we're just, we're, we're going again. <coughs> oh, Ellie's back in the window. I just want to, like, make sure that she's not, like, just sitting at the door. Let's mark this in advance. Because that's my biggest problem is that I launch and then I don't want to crash into something once I, like, am no longer in the thing. You, you know what I'm saying. It's English words. You, you know what I mean. Sound of crushed bones. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll land right here for a moment. Cause I think this 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 is it, isn't it? This is this is the place. This is the place to be. Let's mark it on here anyways, on the rumor map. Uh because I I will never forget how convenient that is. Yeah, it's right here. Alright. Um I think I wanted to go around this way. This light box is cool. Uh, maybe this isn't the right way down, though. Oh, here we go. I know there's more to explore here. Um, I've definitely walked that path also. So I, I found that path the last time I came here and I was like trying to figure out what to do. Oh, look at that. It's the sixth location. Pretty sure I've read this. <laughs> Brone Chromonicle. 
the music in this game is so good. I, um, I'm gonna pause for a second. I, I need to get better about pausing when I'm talking and not letting the game run time. Um, I love the implementation of location-based music triggers. So, like, you'll only hear certain tracks when you get to that area. And I know that that's relatively common, right, in an open-world type of game. But it it just feels so good in this particular game. It's it's awesome. It's so good. Everything about this game just works, I think. Is the hardest part of this tragedy in not knowing uh, who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later uh, when we learn? Be well, Aunt Melroy. Yeah, this fits so nicely. The only place so far that I'm like, this music doesn't seem to fit is in like the center of Dark Bramble. It's like so peaceful and yet so scary. Uh, I don't think I've been here. Look out, look out below. Uh, look out for the gravity hole. Uh, for should you slip and lose your grip, then into space you'll go. I remember trying to get in here at one point and I couldn't figure out how to get through. Uh, the cities have some of your favorite text, but man, uh, it is soul crushing sometimes. The composer was inspired by post-rock music, which is your favorite genre. Uh, Andrew Farrow, Far Farlow? Parallel? Did a couple interviews about the OST. Here's a quote. When there's constant looping music in exploration games like Outer Wilds, the music can lose importance and become wallpaper, he explains. To avoid that and make the music stand out, I have crafted the music to follow the player's sense of exploration. That's amazing. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, I remember having similar feelings about um, Subnautica. But some of that music does loop more. So some of it I was kind of like, I mean, I loved the music, so I was always happy to hear it. But eventually it does kind of like uh, just become background noise. But here it's like you always notice it when something comes in because it's so infrequent. Where have I not gone? I came from here. So let's go this way. Ooh, okay. Here's where I haven't been. What does this say? I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Uh, let's read this one first. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid our friends... I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona. I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Oh, this was- these are the shuttles. It got tangled in... Dark Bramble? Something about Dark Bramble? been through more of this area, but I guess not. We can hear the other escape pods' distress signals, which gives me hope. Foley, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. Yeah, so many sad notes.
There's where I came from. Oh man, we are losing time. I wonder if they're falling like in order of the way that you're supposed to discover each of these locations. So that like you have enough time to get through everything in one go. That's my hope. Hmm. Is this where I came from though? I don't think so. It is. All right, so I have been here before. I suppose I can go back to the ship. Before more of this falls. And we... Oh, that was a weird clip. How dare this game make you care about an ancient alien race. It's really easy to get lost in here. That's no kidding. Um, I don't want to do that. I remember some of these, like, fall as you step on them, too. Ooh. I see my ship! I'm coming for you. Ow. Itch. Okay. Uh, da -da. Oh my god, all these panels. It looks like we found everything here, though, so that's good. Uh, the Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned the settlement over growing concerns about its stability. Uh, let's go with these in order. Uh, mural panel one. A mural of a Nomai vessel encountering a signal. A mural of a dark bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. A mural of three escape pods evacuating the Nomai vessel. Escape pod three. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of dark bramble. We have to go back to dark bramble. Luffy gotta take off. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great rest of your day. Have a good weekend. I'm sure I'll, I'll I'm sure I'll see you like probably even later today. <laughs> We're all running into each other all over the place. The vessel. The Nomai warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Almost out of coffee. We have to go back to Dark Bramble and what? Explore? Fine, I guess. Thanks, game. I hate it. Uh... I still don't know what's up with the quantum caves that I haven't found yet. I like, I spent a lot of time trying to figure that out last stream. <laughs> and, and this frozen shuttle. I haven't figured this out either. I don't want to go back to Dark Bramble, you guys. 
We already went there today. Oh, I can't. I have to be in my ship. There's probably not even enough time to go look right now, but... It'll be fine. He said with confidence. Or they said. Uh, what, what are your pronouns, Kronark? Um, you love what the game, um, you love that the game tells you what you haven't figured out, but it still makes you figure it out. Yeah, it's very clever. It's a very clever, uh, system. Uh, legitimately doesn't matter. Fine by me. I even gonna do this is it we're gonna check the outside first <laughs> that is gonna be step one I mean I don't see any that many crashed shuttles out here or ships or whatever but I refuse to just dive right in without checking the outside first I always thought that the vessel was that probe. I don't see it. I really wanted it to be on the outside. Man, I gotta tell you guys, I thought I was close to the end of this game. That would be easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like, I thought I was getting to the end and it was like a little bit bittersweet. And now I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like maybe there's, there's a lot more. Uh, headlights off, headlights off. How the fuck am I gonna do this? Imagine being allowed to finish this game. I'm getting that impression. I'm definitely gonna get eaten. This. And, man, Felspar didn't even mention a shuttle in here. panda you know um it was going really really well and then i found out i had to go back to dark bramble so uh i'm not thrilled about it but you know um you were looking for a bit am i looking for something specific here i'm looking for the vessel or no what is it uh, uh escape pod three Something like that. Escape pod 3 or the vessel. You know what? If we find either one, I'll be happy. Um. Yeah, yeah, please no hints. Um. But, uh. Yeah. Thank you, Allie, for being super on top of it. Oh, I hate it. We're just gonna slide on by. Yeah, I have met, I have met Feldspar, um. I was uh, saying that they didn't mention a vessel or anything. So I'm hoping I'm just not gonna be wandering aimlessly and the uh, the ship or, or, or escape pod is gonna be in like a totally different location. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out. 
I will eventually find it. That is true. Whether it's in this planet or somewhere else, we'll, we'll get there eventually. As long as I don't get eaten. Uh, why is everyone so disappointed to explore Dark Bramble? Maybe the music does not help, but you are amazed of this place. Uh, you must have, um, uh, what? I don't like bugs. <laughs> ah, that's why I don't like it. It's so scary. Ah. You know what? We can explore a lot faster! Oh, I'm so dead. So dead. You found the fish to be a tad too unforgiving. You've seen the place without the fog, and it's even scarier than? Really? I think it would be way le uh, way more- uh, less scary. It would be way less scary if there was no fog, because you can see everything. Light Bramble mod is so spooky. Oh man, now I want to like check that out once I've finished the game. <gasps> ah, we're going back. I always do that. I always turn the wrong way like every single time when I go up to the ship. Uh... I'm just such a baby. And I definitely can't highlight it. It's very claustrophobic. Oh, there we go. Uh, you once practiced getting in and out of the ship repeatedly for several minutes trying to get your muscle memory uh, to turn in the right direction each time. It didn't work. <laughs> I need a game plan for this. What's my game plan gonna be? Hmm. It's only seven o'clock, too. Autopilot, don't don't make me crash, please. suggestion don't know if it'll work uh keep it to yourself for now um because i'm gonna try to work through this on my own for a little bit and then if i would like help i will certainly ask uh thank you for asking i i do very much appreciate my headlights are off okay I need to sort out a game plan here because I don't think I need to say how much you like Ryback. Yeah, Ryback's cool. Maybe I'll go back here first. Um, hmm. Anna Perma? Perna? I don't know what that is. But yeah, I really- I don't want to wander aimlessly in this game. I- like, I- I- or in this planet. I very much want to avoid, uh, aimlessly-
trying to find this ship thing. Um, I think I'm actually going to go to the red one instead of the one where the guy's at. Oh, oh, they're the publisher. Gotcha, gotcha. Um. Wait. Wasn't there a shuttle or something in, like, the core of the planet? Am I misremembering that? Hmm. I have to think about it. I hate the bugs. Am I far enough away now to use my jets? I hate this particular entrance the most. I'm not touching the controller. <sighs> yeah, this game. My, um... My hunch is that the, the, uh, the shuttle is gonna be in this part of the planet. What's my reasoning for that? I don't really have one. Um, I just feel like there should be more in here compared to the other locations we've been to. I don't know, you guys, this game's crazy. Look at how beautiful they are! You know what I found out the other day? You can get a pet uh, capybara, and I want one. They're like 200 pounds. Don't make fun of them. All right, so we're back here. The biggest rodent in the world, that's right. They've got asthma? They have asthma? Or do you mean the, uh, the, the, uh, what, what the, the angler fish? The angler fish have asthma. We're talking about the fish, okay. Um, what are they? The pets are talking about? Your English isn't perfect? A kookaburra is a, it's the world's largest rodent, and it looks like a giant guinea pig, and they're really cute. They're really, really cute. Capybara. I always I always say uh, kookaburra and capybara mixed up a little bit. Very similar names, but different animals. Um, cool, so we're back here. And I want to look around a little bit. I want to see if there's anything unusual. Which it doesn't appear to be. We can go back there. That kookaburra is a bird with a call that sounds like a laugh. Yeah, th they're super cute too. I wouldn't want one as a pet though, they're loud. I 
I dislike this area immensely. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Hide and seek. I don't know what the- Oh, this was from the training. It's weird that it's like just not picking anything up now. Yeah, from when I played hide and seek with the kids, yeah. You also hear they're aggressive. Kookaburras? Yeah. I'm sure they are. I bet they're territorial. I mean, all birds kind of are. Birds are kind of jerks. I love birds, though, as you can tell by all of my emotes. Man, I'm really hoping that I just see something and that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel like what I should be doing. also like know that I'm not supposed to be like wandering through this you know because I'll get spotted and then eaten I hear it we'll just go this way for a minute oh I'm definitely gonna hit something though A zebra cake? Oh, I could go for some cake right now. I am so lost. Back it up, 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 back it up. Too, too much, too much, too much, too much. Uh, let's just go this way for a minute. I don't see very many. looks extremely easy to get lost here. Absolutely. It's like, it's weird because you don't ever want to just aimlessly wander around because you'll get murdered. Like, 110%. But also, I don't have any indication as to where this ship is that I'm trying to find. So the question becomes, like, do I try to wander where there aren't very many of these? Is this the right one, I hope? Yep. Ah! Don't do it! Uh, out of curiosity, which places in here have I already been? I've been to the core, I've been to Felspar's little nook, and I've been to that red 
spheres. That noise is your raid notification? Wait, the sound of the guy? The Is it really? Have I just not noticed that? So we're in the center again, so... It seriously is? Oh my god. Oops. Oops. Oh, crap. I'm gonna murder myself. Stop. Just stop. So, if I remember correctly, if I go this- if I just, like, keep diving into the center here, I'll just, like, do it forever. Yeah, because this just, like, takes me to the same place. Go back out. Back out we go. And we're out. Uh, you just realized a thing, but you can't say because spoilers. Mm. Also, how Mark, how do you how does that not freak you out? Oh my god, oh my god. What? How did that happen? Did something hit my ship? Well, there it goes! Ship, please. We could go back to the center. And try to see if there's, uh... something there. Ship. I can't believe we got back to it. This loop does not have a whole lot of time left, though. There's definitely another thing that was broken. Maybe not. Port hull, whatever. The outside has some gravity. It definitely does. Um... We're gonna go back to the center again. You've gotta head, head out soon, but you wish me a stream of discovery. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. I don't know how much longer I'll play. I'm definitely going to finish this loop and probably do one more. Maybe. I'm getting hungry, so I might make some dinner soon. I also kind of want to, like, think about this and, like, some different approaches that I could take when trying to find this vessel. Ah! God! Fuck! I shouldn't have done anything. I shouldn't have moved. Oh. Well, alright. Got eaten. <sighs> Guess I'm doing another loop. Guess so. Well, at least these quiet, uh, runs through Dark Bramble will leave some time for just chatting. Also, hello, Dave. Of course Dave shows up right when you leave. 
<gasps> um, actually, Mark, he was he was waiting for you to leave so that your puns could go uninterrupted. Yeah, avoiding the puns exactly. <laughs> what is Hollow's Lantern? I mean, that's just a lava moon. Isn't it? I don't know. Maybe that'll be for the next stream. Uh, Dark Bramble. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessels were recorded. Oh, shit. I don't know why I didn't realize that I could do this. Yeah, so I've been there. Volcano time? I'm tempted to go there just to get a break. Uh, but also... Oh, right, I can't select that until I'm in the driver's seat. I don't want to, like, switch things up yet. I don't know. Like, I don't like leaving puzzles unsolved, but I know I kind of have to sometimes. Um... And just because I don't like Dark Bramble doesn't mean I should avoid it. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll we'll check that out. Because I've definitely, like, circled around it before, and I, like, didn't see anything to even do there. But I'm sure there's, there's got to be something. It's on the map, and it's not filled out, so... Yeah, maybe later in the loop. Yeah, something like that. Or after I get eaten. More likely that. I wonder if now that we know a little bit more about the vessel, if Felspar will have any information for us. Maybe that should be our first step. That feels kind of silly, but... I also have my, uh... My... Scout. I should take advantage of the scout. realized my headlights were on. That would have been bad later. Oh, I guess actually, no, they're blind, so it shouldn't matter. Does this game exist in VR? I can't imagine it does. It would make you so sick. But also, it'd be cool. It does. Of course it does. There's a mod for it. Man, you know what I would want to do? Is, like, be in one of those, uh... It's, like, a, the VR, um... They have them at like science museums and stuff where you're in like a virtual roller coaster and so the screen is like all around you. It's not a headset. And then it like lifts up and rotates and rolls around. I'd want to pilot a ship, pilot the ship in one of those. You'd vomit if you played this in VR. Me too, Dave. 
A multiplayer mod, too? What? Actually, I just want to know what happens. Oh, I guess that's not a... I'm just like a smidge curious what happens if you like bop one of those on the head, one of the uh, angler fish. I guess that's a question that doesn't need to be answered. Are there even anglerfish in this area? I just like threw a thing at two of them and there were not fish. Maybe. That is the question. Oh. Once we get to the second, I'm gonna get to the center. Oh, got stuck. Let's not find out. Allie, where's your sense of discovery? Come on, just, just get in the thing. There we go. Your sense of survival is strong. <laughs> Imagine this in VR, the horror. That's what I'm saying. Couldn't do it mean either. There aren't there aren't any uh, angler fish here. Come on. No, get in the thing. Just go to the center. Go to the center. Usually it, like, zeroes in on it. That's weird. What the heck? This was so easy the first time. Alright, I guess we're just gonna go closer. What the hell? There it is. That was so hard. You're gonna order food tonight? It was payday? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I want sushi. I'm gonna cook tonight. I really don't want to. I've been so lazy about cooking lately. It's just like, so I've been using a meal kit, a meal delivery kit for a couple of nights a week. And then I also cook a couple of nights a week, just like my own recipes. And I, as much as I really love the service, it's a lot of work. And especially when I already cook myself and it, it's like, it costs almost the same as takeout. And uh, when I was on my really strict diet, like, it just, that's just what I had to do. 
And now I'm just kind of like tired of all of it. I'm tired of the diet. I'm tired of the constant working out. I'm tired of cooking all the time and spending like two hours a day cooking. I'm just, I just want to order sushi. I might order sushi tonight. Yeah, breaks are good. Breaks are necessary. Um, yeah, I've decided to take like a couple of weeks off of like all that type of responsibility and just like see where I'm at at that time. I'm still like monitoring and and taking note of what I'm uh, eating and, and still trying to get exercise. I'm just not uh, being really strict about it. I'm not like setting rules for myself that I have to pertain to. It's just kind of like making note of, oh no. Let me out. There we go. Uh, I want to go down. We're going to talk to you again. Maybe you'll be more helpful this time. And for anyone who's um, hasn't been here before, we've read all this already. That's why I'm not reading it. Uh, wow. Found something? No. Where should I explore? I love that it just comes back. Oh, that's so cool. I really like that if I send my scout, it gets, uh, it pushes me in the opposite direction. I never noticed that. That's a really good touch. So we've been to the core of the planet before, which is that way. This splits off, so that'll be difficult to follow. Gotta conserve that momentum, yeah. Thank you, Isaac Newton. I'm just gonna try following this for a minute. We'll see where it gets us. this loop around. Damn. This is hard, you guys. This is tricky.
Also, I'm surprised that I can't, like, repair their ships and send them back to them, you know? Like, I guess- Oh, I didn't expect that to hurt me. That was rude. Alright, well. Uh, not that way, this way. Going back here for like the third time. Ow! I never noticed space before. Duplicate signal. So we've been here before. We've done all this. There has got to be more information about where to find the vessel. If you went to Dark Bramble, you would literally die. I mean, same. I'd be paralyzed with fear. I don't know what I would do. Cry? Probably cry a lot. Turn around and never look back. No kidding. Oh, down we go. Going back to my ship, and I'm gonna read for a minute. <laughs> Infinite loop. Be damned, you'll hang out with Gabbro. Oh. Stretching. Uh, okay. Are there any other logs that kind of, like, reference it? I don't even think there are. It'd all be in the same place if there were. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I am going to meditate till the next loop. We're gonna check out the... That lava moon. And then I'm probably gonna... That's- that's probably gonna be the last thing I do today. I wanna check out the moon, though. I have questions about it. Like, why it's on the map and not filled out, as if I hadn't explored there. Follow the lantern, yeah. Let's stretch. Uh, 
Okay, we don't need that. We do need this. We're gonna go here. We're gonna... Uh... Is that the quantum moon? Does it show up here? Oh, hey, look, it's the probe. Ah, look at it go. I remember that one time we caught up with it. Oh, no, 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 don't crash on. God, it wasn't far enough out of the orbit. Just ruining our ship. It's amazing they let us pilot. The ship is gonna, like, explode if we get hit with anything. What? Is that... That's something I can land on. How am I gonna not freaking die? I have to, like, match the... the spinning. Or maybe I can land on the outside. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> this is like the, the actually you can't crash. If you crash, you will die. I don't feel like I'm sticking to it. I'm so dead. I'm so gonna die. Oh, I guess my landing gear is damaged. That's why I'm having so many issues. Huh. Let's be quick! So it won't... Don't pick me up, don't pick me up, don't pick me up. This is cool. Uh, uh, in Alpha, apparently, Hollow's Lantern was originally Devil's Furnace. <laughs> Additionally, Alpha version of Brittle Hollow had a piece of lore saying that the furnace was inactive at the time. Interesting. Friends in Timber Hearth Mines, the last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver you more ore to Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ash Twins Project's protective shell. Yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova proof, however briefly, has my kindled curiosity. My gratitude, I imagine, will also uh, have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Ash Twin project. Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Don't pick me up, don't pick me up. Oh, and then this is the, uh, this is on, um, Timber Hearth, I remember. I mean, I guess that makes sense because it does say Timber Hearth and have a picture of Timber Hearth on it, but, you know. Uh, is that all that's... Where'd it go? Okay. Is that all that's in here? A 
of course, the alpha's not canon anymore. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. check the other ones. Nope. And we've been to that one on the bottom now. What about this one? Nope. And what about this last one? I don't see anything else. Alright, let's just get away a little bit. So then I can read my logs. Thought I heard something. Volcanic testing site. Ore samples from the Nomai mines on Timber Hearth were sent to this volcano uh, for durability testing. The Nomai were trying to craft a briefly supernova proof shell to encase the Ash Twin project. Even the smallest crack or opening in the protector shell would destroy everything. Uh, let's go back to the worldview. Hey, now it's all filled in. That's nice. Is there any other locations that I just haven't been to yet? It seems like I've been to. Everything. Except the Ash Twin project. Alright. Well, I guess next stream we're going to pick up with the escape pod and then sh that shuttle. And maybe we'll go back to the quantum caves. Maybe the quantum caves is how we get into the Ash Twin project. That'd be cool. Alright. I think this is a good place to stop, though. Um, because I need some food. Uh, tidal heating from proximity to the planet mixed maybe with radioactive decay also heating the magma. That's cool. I'm pretty possible. GG. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you everyone for hanging out. As always, I really appreciate it. Um, uh, uh, and thank you, Odin, for the raid. And... Thank you, Allie and Orc and Cronarch and Nine for the subscriptions. Um, that's awesome. It's, I, I love to, it's, it, it makes me feel very appreciated and I am very appreciative of you. Um, and, and it's awesome to see. Um, and we got some new follows as well. Um, Garden of Indie, new follow cool getting getting new people in here makes me so happy let's see who we can raid <laughs> <laughs>